guys, Sarah here. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be talking about the new Pixie Pretties collection. So if you're interested in that, keep watching. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe before you leave so you don't miss any of my future videos. All right, let's get into it. There is no way to hold this and not just show you guys. So today, I'm going to open up this box that Pixie sent over. It is full of new... <laughs> There is no way to do this in any sort of... Okay, here we go. This is what the box looks like. And there are five different influencers who have products in here. So I'm going to take out all of these little boxes out of their compartments so that it's easier for me to manage because this is gigantic. Oh, okay. So there are quite a few products. I already have foundation, powder, bronzer, blush on, and that's it. So the first thing I think I'm going to look at is, yeah. So there are highlights from this palette from Rage Loves. I love her. She's hysterical. And then these two highlights from head to toe. The two highlights from head to toe, one is in the shade Wednesdays and one is in the shade Fetch. Wednesdays is more of a pinky shade, which obviously is from Mean Girls, and obviously so is Fetch. But this color is the one that I think I would like more for my skin tone. So I'm gonna swatch this one, and then I'm also going to open up this Rage Loves palette. Okay, her palette is super, super cute. Whoops. So it has a nice size mirror and then the th five shades. So in here, I think the shade that I would be the most drawn to would either be tea or lace. So let's do some swatches and then I will put something on my face. I'm actually just going to swatch all of the products from all of the shades in this palette just so that you guys can see them. These are the shades from that palette. They are all super pretty, but this is lace. I think this is the one that I would like the most. I think knit would be really pretty if I was a bit more tan. And then these are the clutch and tea. This is tea. I thought I would really like this one, but I think I might like clutch more. Tea is pretty yellow. I think overall lace is the color that I would go with. And then let me just swatch this one in fetch next to it so you can see that one as well. This one is fetch. I think that fetch might be a bit too deep for my skin tone, so I am going to go in with lace. This is really, really pretty. I haven't been wearing highlight a lot recently, so it's kind of weird to see highlight on my skin. It is, whoa, I didn't tap that side off as much, and it is really, really pigment pigmented. And I'm just going to take a little bit down the center of my nose. That is really pretty. My sponge is still damp, so I'm just going to blend that out a little bit because I'm not really into like the harsh highlight right now. All of them swatch beautifully. They feel really buttery and I mean, they're all gorgeous. It's just going to depend on your skin tone, what shade you like the most, but this is really pretty. Then we have from Chloe Morello, there's these lip glows. They come in three shades. And then there's also a couple other lip products. So from Miriam, there are two different sets of Liquid Fairy Lights and Matte Liquid Lips. These are eye and lip kits. This is what those look like. And then this is also from Head to Toe, and this is the Endless Eyeshadow Stick in One and Done, which I think is really cool. It looks like it's just like a one eyeshadow look, which is awesome. Okay, yeah, this little crayon. Yes, I am into that. And then lastly, from Heart, there is this eyeshadow palette, which I think is really pretty. This palette is what I'm going to go into next. And oh my gosh, these colors are so pretty. I am going to just speed you guys up. I will point to the colors that I use so that it goes by faster.
is the eyeshadow look. I'm going to pop on mascara to kind of pull the look together. I just did my mascara and I totally forgot to use the Endless Shade Stick. This again is in the color One and Done. So I'm going to try to carefully place this over my shadow and not mess up my mascara. Um, a lot of times with crayon formulas like this, you don't have to blend them out really. You can just kind of go over your lid. So we'll see how this one is. This color is actually really similar to the color that I had on my lid already. Okay, I don't think it really looks different simply because of the color I already had on. But I do just want to swatch it for you because I think the color is really, really pretty. And products like this are so easy. You can just pop them on and then just kind of like tap and blend them if you kind of want to diffuse it a little bit. And then it gives you like that one and done look. So the name is perfect. I think this color is like such an easy go-to for everyone for like a neutral look. I'm so into it. So love that. And then I did want to swatch the colors in this palette. I will say this deep brown... Um, I did it on my outer corner and I just didn't feel like it has quite a bit of fallout But I didn't feel like I got that really good pigmentation, but all of the shimmer shades are gorgeous. Here are the swatches I mean even the lightest color has some color payoff so Absolutely love this. I think the quality of the palette is really really good The brown shade was a bit disappointing, but other than that everything else was really good. I only swatched these two. I used more than half the colors, which I feel like is good. Um, I like the way that my eye look turned out. I think this is really pretty for fall. Moving on to lips. So there are these two sets that have the Liquid Fairy Lights and Matte Last Liquid Lip. I actually tried the lip in this yesterday. And I think it's pretty. It was a little bit deeper than what I probably would normally wear. I'm just going to swatch both of the lips for you. So this one is in Coral Bang. I actually kind of want to try this one, but I am like slightly scared because you guys know I'm not really a bold lip kind of girl. And then this one is in Posh Nude. And the Posh Nude was just a little bit too cool toned for me personally. And then this is the Fairy Lights in Mirage. Okay, so this is like a glitter topper for your shadow. You can see the reflex in that glitter shadow. And then these are the two lip colors. And then there are the lip icings. I'm only going to open one of these because I feel like I will never use all of them. So it would be a total waste. This one is in Parfait. And this almost looks, yeah, this is like a clear gloss with um, like different reflex in it. So if you look one way, it's like purpley and pink. Okay, so <laughs> I'm having a hard time deciding what I want to go in with. I'm going to go in with this just to try it. These do smell super sweet and the doe foot is kind of a curved doe foot. I actually really like it. It was super easy to apply when I tried the other one yesterday. I also like that the tip is pointed. I don't know who I was kidding. I do not feel like I can pull this color off. I'm actually going to put a little bit of the Posh Nude color on top and kind of mix it in. It definitely toned it down a bit uh, and then I'm just going to show you because these have kind of dried down so now you can see but this liquid lip formula is actually pretty comfortable a lot of times liquid lips are terrible to wear so I'm just going to give it another minute on my lips to dry and then I'll put this gloss over it just so you can see that look this again is in the shade parfait and this smells really really sweet as well Okay, I feel like you can't see. If you ever dip into something with a color on it, you do just want to wipe off your doe foot before putting it back into that 
uh, container just so that you don't contaminate the color. From a distance, I feel like it just looks like a clear gloss, but up close, I can definitely see the like pink reflex in it. I'm just gonna go one by one through all of the products that I've tried and just kind of share my final thoughts on them. So the first thing is the Rach Loves Highlight Palette. I like this. The thing about highlight palettes that I think I have a hard time with is that you're purchasing all of these colors when all of the colors are not gonna work for you. So you end up buying colors that you're going to not use. So I personally don't really buy a lot of highlight palettes. I do think this is really pretty. The colors are gorgeous. I think all three of these colors would work for me. This purple, I just don't see myself ever wearing that. And then this deeper one would definitely work for me when I'm nice and tan in the summer or if you have a deeper, deeper skin tone. I like the packaging, the mirror is really nice, and the overall packaging is really pretty and really nice. So depending on your skin tone and your taste in highlights, the formula is really great. It's buttery, it glides on gorgeously, and there's a ton of color payoff. So I think formula-wise, this is amazing. I'm gonna say kind of the same thing about this highlight. It's just slightly too deep for me right now, and so I probably won't use it. I love the formula of these. I actually have the one that they did with Aspen Ovard like a couple years ago, and that formula, it's the same formula. It is just so good and creamy and buttery. It's amazing that it's from the drugstore. My one complaint about this specific packaging is that the twist off, I've noticed sometimes they kind of get stuck and they're hard to twist back on because it's like kind of flimsy plastic packaging. So that's my only complaint about it, but otherwise if this color would work for you, I think it's gorgeous. This palette is probably my second favorite thing that I tried today. The colors are so pretty for fall. I just can't get enough of them. I like that the pan size is a decent size. And again, you guys saw the swatches. The color payoff and pigmentation is beautiful. This one I like because you can get a full look out of it. My complaint about this one is that I wish it had a deeper color, like this chocolatey brown was slightly deeper, or one of these two shades was a little bit different because they are different, but they are pretty similar. So I wish maybe this one was just slightly deeper and then this could be deeper so that there's like a little bit more room for definition in there or you could use it as eyeliner. So I usually like just like a really deep tone in there. That is my only complaint about this palette. I think the eye look turned out really beautiful and the colors are just absolutely gorgeous. My favorite product from this collection is this endless shade stick. I think it is gorgeous. The color is beautiful. It's going to work for tons of skin tones. I like this type of packaging. It's super easy to travel with. It's easy to apply. You don't even have to have a brush. You literally can just put it on, tap it out with your ring finger, and it's a one eyeshadow look. I love that. Anything super simple I'm into, and the color is just gorgeous. Then we have the liquid lips. I do like the color how it turned out together. I don't really like either of these separately which is kind of a bummer because they come in sets so you'd have to buy both sets to get the mixed color. Uh, the formula is good. It's definitely more comfortable than a lot of liquid lipstick formulas that I have tried but I don't normally wear liquid lipsticks anyway so I don't know how much use I will get out of these. If it was a color that I really loved, I would probably wear it really, really often. And the doe foot on these is amazing. This I didn't put on my eye. It is that um, eye, what is it? Liquid Fairy Lights. And this one is in the shade Mirage. This is really pretty. I don't really wear a ton of like glitter lids. I can see myself using it for like a Halloween costume or something, or if that's your style, this is cool. I like that the it's super easy to apply and that the glitter doesn't like just fall out of it. So I really like the formula of it. It's just not necessarily something that I would get my use out of. And then lastly is this lip, which is in the Lip Icing. This is again one of those products that it has really pretty reflex, but I feel like it's like a little more kiddish than I am. Not that I'm like super mature, but I like when it looks clear, but I don't know that I necessarily want like pink sparkles in my lips. All right. There were definitely some hits, definitely some misses for me personally. I hope that this video was helpful for you and kind of navigated a certain direction for you. As always, I will link all of these products down below in the bottom bar. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe before you leave so you don't miss any of my future videos. Thanks so much for watching, bye guys.